Hello everyone, Lucky Knight here, and today we're going to be playing a fantastic game um, that I really enjoy uh, playing and creating and um, really having fun putting together servers and getting together with people and playing. Um, and today we're uh, with our l lovely friend, uh, Turtle Gamer. And um, what we have going on here, um, we set up a, a very small um, outpost that's just outside of a large city here. And um, we've collected a tractor and we've got uh, an oil rig set up so it's starting to pump fuel for us. But we started without you guys, I'm sorry. We're sorry. And we have one of the desert hueys that we use to get around and um, we have some supplies saved up here and we need to get a whole bunch more uh, materials um, I think we have very limited ammo I've got 11 shots left I got 7 he's down to 7 um, so uh, a quick tour before we take off. This is our small, very modest um, area. We have a, a rain collector, which has never collected any rain yet. It's never stormed. Um, a very small garden that we have going. And this is also a level that I've... Um, this particular map, I call it Rock Spire. It's one that I've um, built myself. And um, we're kind of just testing it right now. Um, there's a lot more stuff that I would like to add and change and develop to it. But this is going to be a nice little uh, preview to what we have been creating here. So let's get started and hop on in the Huey. Yay! Here comes Turtle Gamer. Poke it along. Um, and we are going to go check out... Um, there were two different military bases that I've created here. Um, and we're going to go check out one that's closer. Uh, this one is the uh, desert base. However, the textures of it have... Um, uh, they Ever since 3.0 and later, the baking features of the terrain changed a bit. And I haven't become 100% accustomed to how it's supposed to work quite yet. Um, so it's not, it used to be all sand and very desert-like, and now it is all foresty, but you'll get the idea. Another thing that I've discovered in the latest version of Unturned is that, um, if you fly above a certain altitude, you will run out of oxygen and die. <laughs> so be mindful of how high you're flying when you are in the Huey or any helicopter or air, aircraft. Okay, so there is uh, some small landmark features that you'll see. Uh, there's a few farms, one that's similar to this, just a small farming area, barn, house, truck, tractor. Um, there is an interstate that envelops the entire map. It actually loops around the entire uh, area. Um, there's not a lot of zombies in, in uh, like encompassing the total map. They're only at like the very high populated areas, um, like the military base that we're coming into here. Now that dirt outline and pretty much everything inside is normally a uh, sand texture. And so this is usually uh, the desert outpost. As you can see, it's set up down there with a runway, uh, some barracks, helipads, we're going to bring it in nice and smooth over here. Now, it is, um, there are some military vehicles that spawn inside as well. However, you have to have a power source at the gate in order to get them out. There's no way to get any of the vehicles that are in there out of there unless you have a generator. So you, it's, um, those military vehicles are usually pretty difficult to get. You have to fly in some kind of a, a generator. Okay, so now we're touching down. And so we're going to get out, 
probably going to go with a chainsaw. That's what I like to use the most. You don't use any ammunition. It's very effective. And um, I'll even show you. It's at 0%, um, but it doesn't break. It just keeps pushing along. It doesn't do as much damage as it normally would, but it uh, is very, very effective. And that it attacks constantly. And. Um, <laughs> takes down enemies pretty quickly. Alright, let's move forward. Watch out for this guy. Alright, let's get moving. Let's start to, let's try to find some ammunition as well as just take a tour of the the barracks here. Desert Falcon. If nothing else, we can steal the clip and uh, turn that gun into some scrap. Scrap metal there. Ooh. Ammunition. Magazine. Oh, Turtle found a knife. That's awesome. Where's the knife, Turtle? Pull it out. Oh, you don't have enough inventory space. Okay. Uh, military vests can also be broken down into uh, scrap metal. And scrap metal is probably one of the largest things we're after right now. It's going to help us build um, some more generators and some other uh, key items that we're really going to need to keep our base growing and uh, create some sustainability. Now the largest problem we have um, in the latest version of Unturned is keeping our uh, toxicity levels um, high. I, we're, there's very few ways um, to uh, improve your toxicity and once it's below 50 percent it starts dropping on its own very rapidly. Um, and it decreases uh, every time you get hit, bit by a zombie, um, if you eat something that's old, um, or if you eat the, a berry that isn't, hasn't been crushed or processed yet. Um, so there are a lot of ways for it to decrease, or if you drink salty water, or if you drink dirty water. Um, simply getting hit by a zombie will increase it. And so that's usually the way, um, like once we've gotten established, once we've gotten weapons, once we've gotten armor, um, and we've leveled ourselves up, then that's usually uh, what ends up killing us ultimately is the toxicity, just because we can't, it's difficult to find ways to uh, decrease it. Oh, there's the knife. That's pretty sweet. Oh! <laughs> Sometimes this game causes me to um, gasp in fear and jump. And I'm sorry if I do get so scared that I yell into the mic. But there are times where I turn a corner or I look around a wall or something and it it spooks me so hard. And it's it's silly because this game... Like the graphics are so, uh oh, are so lighthearted, and it's just interesting that, like the the element of surprise that this game can deliver is so um, uh, 
intense, really, that it, it, it does often <laughs> cause me to scream. So we've cleared out the barracks, um... And we really didn't find much of anything. Gas cans are always nice to have. Travel pack. You know, we're looking for ammo, looking for anything we could use to make our mission more successful. Oh! Watch out, turtle! I got your back, buddy! Get out of there! I'm out of bullets, I'm out of bullets! Oh, we got a horde of them on us now. See, this is why the chainsaw is just so overpowered. It just mows zombies down. Now, I was hoping to find some more ammo or something. <laughs> um, I think that something cool that they've added are the, um, yeah, we can now point and wave and change our facial expressions uh, in game live action which is really cool all right well it looks like we've cleared this base pretty well um we'll probably grab some fuel on our way out There's a few more zombies back here. Um, let's see here. Okay, so the zombies that I don't like the most are these ones here. They're so fast. Um, the chainsaw is not as effective against them because they usually will get at least one hit on you before you can take them down. And so uh, each one of those hits counts as, you know, one more percent of your toxicity. Um, and that's with max, maxed out, what is it? Immunity. Um... With max immunity, which is 50% virus endurance, you still take one tick per hit from these zombies. So if at all possible, I take them out from a distance. A one clean headshot, so one bullet, is good enough. Watch out, turtle! Ah! There we go. Here's a bandage. And at least we got uh not, we got two desert falcons out of this mission, which is pretty good. Bunch of scrap metal, um Alright, let's head back home. 
build our fuel tank so we can go and put a bit more of the fuel into our helicopter. We can check out these barracks on the way out too because sometimes things will spawn um, while you're here. Oh yeah, see here's something. What's that? Yeah, Dragon Fang box. That's um, Zarek actually has that. Oh. Can you pick it up? Do you have enough room? I can carry it back for you. Okay, well I have it for now. You just need to have a four four piece square to pick that up. Okay. Uh, just looking around. There's a canteen. I already have one of those and they take up a lot of room. box. Okay, let's keep looking around. Oh boy. You see what I'm talking about with those guys? They're pretty difficult to take down. For very little reward. Oh, canteen. Don't need that. I thought it was an ammo box. And um, when you build these levels, you, it's, uh, you have to create... Um, loot tables, right? And every loot table, um, you create tiers, and every tier has a different percentage of being spawned. Um, and then once you create zombie spawns, you can assign those zombies to drop a certain loot table. And so for um, each base, like this one in particular, it's all of the desert military items that you'll find in the game. Um, so you'll find a lot of You find a lot of, um, typically everything drops clothing, whatever kind of clothing that you find on it is what it will drop, um, as well as, um, like the ammo that's required for the guns that they drop, they will also drop, um, there's also, um, like the uh, when you create zombies, you create them by setting up what items can spawn on them, or what items will be equipped on them when they spawn, just like you would a loot table. And there's different percentages of different items. And so, I mean, you could make zombies that dropped things they didn't wear. It's possible to do that. Um, but I think just for that immersion level to um, assign them a loot table with all the things that they wear is pretty crucial and critical. Just so that like when you kill something that's wearing uh, you know, these military items, like that vest, it has a chance of dropping that vest. Um, but there are some anomalies where, for example, this one didn't have a helmet on. It, it could have spawned a helmet when it was killed just because that loot table is assigned to it, whether, you know, there's a chance for it to... There's a chance for, um, for it to spawn with a helmet. There's a, spawn for t a chance for it to um, drop a helmet. There's a chance, uh, you know, so, but it's, you know, it wouldn't wear anything it couldn't drop. Alright, so let's head back. Um, I've got some more fuel. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to fly these helicopters, but um, they can be pretty tricky until you get the hang of them. 
We'll do a fly over the base here. It's pretty cool. And then we'll get a better look at um, the city where we've kind of created a little outpost on our way back in. that farm again and then so the forest base which we have set up is um, pretty much like 180 degrees on the other side of the map um, so no matter where you are in the map there's a military base that's going to be close to you so you have access to all of the the best weapons equipment no matter where you spawn, you have about an equal amount of distance to get to either one or the other. And they are both set up um, relatively similar, but they are different on purpose. So here is the, um, this is the large town. That It's kind of like the city area. As you can see, it's still in development, like the road doesn't lead anywhere. There's more buildings that need to be put in. Um, some of the roads need to be redone. The racetrack there is pretty cool. All those cars run. Um, there's a fuel tank down there as well. Let's do a low, uh, a low flyby of the city here. There are an immense amount of zombies that spawn here. And it's super cool. Um, especially when you do have like a lot of weapons and, and ammunition to just run through there and just tear them all apart. You can see them getting all excited from the helicopter flying by. Pretty cool little town. You can see the ambulance wiped out, crashed into a light post. Okay, let's take her on down back to the base and uh, we'll get ready for another mission. Hopefully we got enough scrap metal to build the next section we need for our base. Coming down. There we go, nice and easy. And touchdown. Well thanks a lot for joining us today guys. It was a lot of fun showing you around the level that we have been creating. Um, so for me, Lucky Knight, we're gonna say goodbye and from Turtle Night. Alright, thanks for watching.